secret stuff. So okay, I started. I restarted recording because that was should not be seen ever. Okay, so you just go and edit that out. Yeah, I I, I already I stopped recording and restarted, so it's not going to be part of it at all. I don't have to worry about editing it out. Oh, uh, what about the voice though? You going to keep the voices and stuff? Uh, no. You're not. But that's going to be a gap. That's a character defining thing. By the way, uh. Wait, voices? Plus what do you mean two voices? HP. Because that was entertaining and just exactly what I thought you were going to do eventually. That's okay. what I was pushing you to do. So, yeah, plus okay. two max HP. Okay, usually it's minus HP, but okay. Oh, no, no, no. No. Let, let me say this. There are only a few ways to get rid of artifacts. Okay. Eat it! Okay, that's it. So, okay, so Nero is gonna just stay in his room the rest of the night. Okay. <laughs> oh, I love it. Hold on, let me, uh... Just stop smiling over that for a second. That was bloody good. <laughs> uh. Okay. So, what have you guys decided on what you're doing? Uh, I, I found. I have found a. I have found a potential. Um, I'm back. Tomboy outfit. Okay. You gotta make it look at least a little steampunky, by the way. At least. What? You gotta make it look at least a little medieval. You said steampunky the first time. Yeah, yeah you I did. I, I, I was, uh, during a part of the break... Crystal had sent me a picture on Facebook. It was a steampunk picture. So, uh, that's kind of what was on my mind. Yeah. I'll mm. <laughs> That's beautiful. Uh, 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 Axel, I just sent you something. I want you to confirm whether or not you want to do that. Yep, oh. that is exactly it. Okay. Okay. And you're sure you would want to do that? That's exactly, exactly it. Yeah, I know what... Because if you decide to go down that road, for one, you're going to be joining a different campaign. Okay. Okay. But... Okay, that's enough. I just wanted to make sure you, you were sure. Let's hang out out there for a little while. And for two... But if I can't get that campaign set up, you'll probably be doing a couple solos at least. Okay. Because that campaign is kind okay, of with that, two let's, of my let's, let's talk about that in private. All right, cool. I'm going to run this past Baki. This is a potential idea. Well, actually, you might not be joining a different campaign. No, oh, no, my it just fashion, depends on what happens. My fashion is important to me. Actually, that sounds rather nice. It depends if I can finish doing what I want to do. Mm -hmm. If I... Because, uh... In a way... Uh, Axel, let's, let's talk about that in private sometime. No, I mean... <coughs> okay, so what are... So have you guys found a cute outfit for Tedo? Found two. Okay. One of them is incredibly overly cheap. Like I'm talking like three coppers, and then uh, the other might be like multiple. Will be like multiple golds. The tomboy one is in the group chat.
And then here's the girly one. Ooh, Baki, that is it. That is good. Which is good. a scarf or a handkerchief? Yeah, I actually, actually, I'm going for the handkerchief. That sounds really good. Kind of like wear it like an ascot. Yeah. I would like you to add that to your page, by the way. Uh, what I just sent you, Hero, because uh, I- I'm pretty sure that you can role play it just perfectly fine. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's uh, something. That's a side effect. Okay. All right. Now I need to get some colors in this men's blue trousers. What color is the work tunic? Mm. Match the trousers, maybe? Hey, I was thinking of that, but a little bit of contrast. My, yeah, before the yeah, ascot, that's a good color. Before the ascot, I was thinking white, but now with the ascot, I want... We, we could do white white tunic and red ascot. Hmm. Actually, that would look really good. There you go. That's, uh, two things. But, uh, I also want you to make a note of that second thing, by the way. I just play. So, have fun role playing that. A large portion of the things which are in my backpack are clothes. Sounds about right. Oh, I, wear I am so glad I wrote that letter now. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Which I literally just finished typing up as I read that. Before I read that. I know. I'm gonna to have to move it a little bit to get it where I need to, go to send it to you. Okay. I just found Tedo's bio. Huh. I just uh, I I put Teto's bio on the character sheet. Ah. I just realized that it was down here. I don't have a bio for a net, do I? No, I don't. Here you go. That's beautiful. I'm watching you. I'm just watching you type this because it's uh, interesting to me. I love it. Okay. That's all. Oh, it's perfect. What? It's perfect. I think he's talking about whatever Ziki's planning. The one person that could actually stop it. It's perfect. It's. Okay. I love it. Okay. So, unless you guys ever contact Nero, Nero is not going to be making contact with you guys. Hmm. Keep that in mind. <laughs> Feel free to do whatever you want, though. No pressure. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, did you guys have you guys gone back to your room yet? Since we picked out Seal's outfit, I guess we did. Okay. So when you get back, you notice that there is a very beautiful box lying on your bed with a letter. No wait, why would it be? No, that that wouldn't be there. N- Nero left it in his room. Oh. It, it's only letter that's out under his door. Okay. There's a 
letter on one of the beds in the room. In our... Be, if if the te- someone found it, it would probably be in Teddo's room. It oh, was... Annette and Teddo are sharing a room. Yeah. Okay, so then there. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah, that's what he is doing, isn't he? Yes. Uh, I'm just gonna copy and paste this thing, do you mind? Sure, go for it. Okay, cool. Um, or you could even read it if you wanted to, but no, I whatever. Rather, I, I, I'd rather someone else read it. Okay. So, Axel, if you want to read it out loud. Well, I mean, everyone knows about it that's here. What? I'm assuming that the find this letter, place full, uh, please forward it to the to a pink-haired girl named Teddo. Yes. On the uh, top of the letter. Yes. Yes. Okay. So, uh, Axel, does someone want yeah. to read that out loud? Yeah, I thought uh, Annette was going to. Yeah, okay. Annette finds the letter. She reads it out loud. If you find this letter, please forward it to a pink game girl named Teddo. Teddo, I'm sorry. I don't know what will happen next. Remind me to bring my new box to the leader before I do anything else. If I'm not there, find it and do that for me, please. Sincerely, Ro. Axel, your tea. That's <laughs> not my tea. Not my, not, not it. Not it. It's actually coffee water. Oh, Axel. Okay, so, how do you react? And that's just kind of confuzzled. Hmm. doesn't know what Nero's talking about. Man. Hmm. That's kind of... And you said there's a box? Yes. No, there's not a box on the bed. There's there a box isn't. with us, but apparently Nero has a box. That's important. Nero has an important box. Box. It's a box. Is it going to be a string? Huh? Is it going to be a string? It... SpongeBob SquarePants. Patch the box. Wait, what? Have you ever watched SpongeBob SquarePants? Oh. A little? No. Yeah. I have not. Well, in one episode, the starfish has a box, a secret box, and SpongeBob tries everything to look inside of it. And in the end, it turns out just to be string. But I remember uh, that. If you pull the string, it opens up a secret compartment in the box, which reveals an embarrassing photo of SpongeBob. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, what do you guys do? Hmm. I don't know how to take this. As in, you don't know what Teto would do, or what? No, she doesn't know how to take it. That that was in character. And that oh, just doesn't okay. know doesn't even know what's going on. Neither do I. Well, I'm sorry for your plot point. <laughs> okay. Well. They can do whatever they want. I don't know who... The, I don't know what the old box is. Or what the new box. <laughs> I just had this awful, stupid thought. <laughs> What? To follow to follow up those two comments with, or who Nero is? <laughs> uh, well, uh, Teddo puts it in her bag. Okay, 
So is this going to be the night? I would assume as much. Anyone got anything else? There is there are, there there's uh, plumbing in this room, correct? There's yeah, there's plumbing. I will bathe. Okay. And that will join her. Whoa! No, no. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Now, no lewd, now we're... no lewd, no lewd, no lewd. In game, in game. This is this is going down. Uh, do you want to bathe first, or should I? It doesn't matter to me. Or maybe we could both go. Why? I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Besides, we bathed in the river before. Yeah, but that's that's different. How was it different? Because the water was moving and we uh, and we didn't get our dirt on each other. Mm-hmm. I see nothing wrong with it. <laughs> but if we yes. are both dirty and we both get in the bathtub, then the water will just get so much more dirty and it won't be like we bathed it at all. Okay, fine. You can go first if you want. She says disappointedly. <laughs> yeah, very disappointingly. <laughs> yeah. It's like, God damn it. I thought it would work. <laughs> nope. Kind of bust a move. Didn't work. No, no, she relents. Toto can be first. Look on the bright. Look on the bright side, Annette. She doesn't have any sleepwear. All right. <laughs> <laughs> the cheer in the voice. Oh yeah. <laughs> I think all that's right. That's right. To Annette, all she's wearing is her armor and her underwear. She's very professional like that. Oh my and then goodness. and then here's Teto in a dress fighting goblins. <laughs> it's beautiful. I am going to be dividing this party so hard at the end, it's not even gonna be funny. Or maybe I won't. Maybe I won't. Well by the looks of it I will. <laughs> <laughs> I could not, but I really want to. No, it's not I could not or I literally want to. It's what how everyone's going to react. If you thought I was done with the disturbing things, you are so far from wrong. Oh, I know, I know you said the training wheels were off. Yep. They are. Okay. So morning comes after both of you bathe, I guess. And sleeping right? new together, apparently. Yep. <laughs> I think we have separate beds, don't we? Uh, I would assume we there, there are two. There are two. Okay, same bed. That's yeah. like no. There are two beds in the room. How do I? You guys push them up together. Sleep in the same bed, cuddle, because we'll keep each other warm. Well, I was about to ask what time of year is it. Trying really hard. Uh, is it, didn't we establish it was near the beginning of summer? Yeah, it's very established. Yeah. So, yeah. It's been like seven days since we've established that in game. Yeah. No, it's been like a week and a half. Two weeks, right? Yeah, like about two or three weeks. It hasn't even been a month. Definitely not a month. Oh my goodness, and the party is already so broken. I'm a, I'm wondering how I'll even get to one ending. I'll have to get to two or three. This is beautiful. Okay. So morning comes. Morning comes. What do you guys do? Nero is not leaving his room. Get dressed, eat breakfast, and go to the end. Get a couple drinks. Uh, check on the other guys. What happened to them? Uh, Jing is nowhere to be found. But Steel is lying on top of a table in the uh, main area with a lot of drinks around him. I am going to wear. I'm going to be wearing my dress, my new dress, because it's count thirty drinks around him. Mm. And there are thirty glasses. And he just kind of slept there. One night. And no one wanted to go near him because when 
one of the when the uh, owner tried the there's a destroyed chair in the floor. So he's just been sleeping there peacefully all night. <laughs> Orcs. Steel finally wakes up and he's like, ah, this isn't a bed, this is a table. I paid for a bed, damn it. You, uh, uh, um, what happened? Drinking? By the looks of it? Was there a party around me? I think you were your own party. That would explain the inability to remember said awesome party. How does your head feel after all that? Wonderful. Really? What? <clears throat> Wonderful. I haven't had a good sleep like that in months. By the way, how long are we going to keep this game going on for? Until you guys want to be done. Okay. What, what's your guys' votes? Eh, I can go on for maybe another two hours. Steely? Um, I have my last therapy session in the morning, so I should get to sleep, but I'm not tired at all. And I'll just lie in bed till three in the morning like, before I sleep, so... I'm down for another yes. Down for another yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, All right. let's stay one more hour. Then we quit. Okay. Well, it honestly doesn't matter to me. I can just keep DMing. Okay. I've got so much content made. You have no idea. Uh, and I still, I still have a little bit of my splat to uh, get tweaked and work on the actual get getting orchestrating of that campaign. Well, the beautiful thing is, is that I had two weeks to work on this thing. And by God, did I. And we're most likely not going to get to any of it. <laughs> oh no, you'll be getting to all of it. Because it's right in the way. Okay. Uh, I I'm still, you know, a little cheery about that. So... What is Nero doing right now? Is he just going to sleep in in his bathtub of justice? Bathtub of I justice. I misses you. Oh. So that, Axel. Oh, okay. Gosh darn it. I know what to do. Because I don't want to split up the party just yet. I think it's too early. You haven't even made it to the house of the one true magic. <laughs> you haven't even made it to my waiting, sleeping beauty. I mean, masterpiece. I mean... <laughs> I mean, I... I, I, I mean, uh, uh, fuck. <laughs> Don't even pretend that's how that went. That's not how that went. You have no idea I've been wanting to use this thing for years, and it may completely suck. But if it does, at least I know. Knowing it's and then suddenly we all need a drop. <laughs> uh, how would that make think, you feel? I don't think you'd drop. But no, no, not we wanted to. We had to. Why would you have to? Life happens. Oh. Sometimes somebody gets hit by a truck. Well, yeah, life it, does. That made me. That forced me to drop for. Uh, I would just find more party members. Shit happens when you party naked, man. What can I tell you? <laughs> but uh, like, 
like I'm because that made me drop uh, drop two games I was GMing and drop two games I was playing in. Every time somebody goes, well, why would somebody need to drop and not tell anyone? Um, that will always be my answer. Well, to be fair, to be fair, I hope you won't play in the street again. <laughs> and I hope Baki so, won't either. Let, let's get back into the, the, the okay. actual game. Yeah, let's get back to the actual game. So what are you guys doing? Because Nero's out for today. The... There, he's there's... off doing his own thing or something. There, there's basically no way he's going to come looking for you. Where's the rogue guy? Are you still giving zero fucks? Unless you go looking for him. The rogue guy? Well, did we know that the red, did, red did, rogue, did we rogue. know that Nero was ahead of us? Yeah, you know Nero was didn't stop. You never saw him stop. Yeah, okay. Do you question him about it? Plus you kinda got a letter from him. So Yeah. Do we know he's in the inn? Wait. We do. You got a letter we in your know. room. We have a letter, duh. You got a letter in your room, so you know he's in the inn. Yeah, okay. Um, and that will go to who the guy who's in charge, the innkeeper. Like, uh, was there a boy about my age with a red cloak and a red hat, a bard? He said, yeah, he left me with a weird letter. Hmm. Looks like he was about to do something he didn't want to. Is he? Well, it doesn't bode well. What room is he in? Is he in here now? Yeah, he's here. Hasn't left this room all morning. Says that around. <laughs> what? Said that you're stuffing your mouth. No. <laughs> yeah, I know. Says that with food in mouth. <laughs> yeah, he does. Because he's having his breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And that, uh... Asks for what room he's in. And goes up there knocks on the door. Okay. He tells you, and... Uh... Would you hear a knock on the door right now? Uh... I, I, I told you. Messaged you. Uh, you don't get an answer. Hmm. Is the door locked? I'm with Annette. Is it locked? It is locked. Nero would not leave his door unlocked. Yeah, no, we know Nero okay. better than that. Finally get to pick a lock for once. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! Go, Annette, go! Yeah. Tedo's going to, like, hover, like, almost uncomfortably close because she's incredibly excited. She's never seen somebody do something like this before. And that's happy Tedo is so close. <laughs> hang, hang on one second. Just saying. I'm a rogue. I should have been picking locks. Okay. Roll your percentage. Okay, roll percentage. You can, you can smell Teto's hair. <laughs> nice. What does it smell like? Minus Lavender. five to lockpick. <laughs> like, <laughs> Lavender. Lavender. Nice. 78. Let's see. What's your percentage? Uh, percentage? Yep. You? Let's look at it. It is... Like 50. You did not make it. You go and try again. Yeah, I guess. What is my... You can do it. 50, okay. No, wait, that's not wrong. It's 50, yes. Okay. I was on the wrong thing. Try again. 100. 93. <laughs> you gotta try again? Yeah? You can do it. You can do it. I rolled a 93. Yeah, well, that's right. That's bad. You have to roll under 45, by the way. After roll a what? Under, under 45. Under Best. 45. Best yes. thief ever. You're All right. Let's go. <laughs> Under 45, go. 36. Hell yeah. Third time's the charm. You open it. Third time's the charm. Yay. All right. You I, should shrug I, it off with something like, I was building dramatic expense. Uh, I, I pat I pat Annette on the back. Good job. Like, I mean, um. Mm. This, you know, she says. Yeah. Yeah. You still did it. That's what's important. So you were, dr you I, like, were during dramatic effect. Yes. It okay. looked better. <laughs> then Annette goes into the room, pokes her head in, and she calls for Nero. It's like, Nero? 
Nero? No answer. Hmm. You see the bathroom, it's slightly open. You see the what? You see the bathroom, it's slightly open. Okay, I walk there's... the bathroom and I knock on the door, like, on the door frame, like, Nero? Nothing. Open the door. Nero! It's yours. So basically you see Nero half killed over inside the tub. Not really moving. His head is off though. To the side. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> for the hat. Nothing happened to the hat. <laughs> you like, and it doesn't say... Did he have worn his cape for this procedure? Uh, he... Nero would no, want to it, 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 cape on. No, he would keep it on. There's no reason for him to take it off. Okay, what do you guys do in response to the site? Okay, I. Uh, I'm going to do a meta. I'm going to do a medical look up and down. I'm going to try and get an idea of what the fuck this is. Happening. I'm gonna check his heartbeat. Uh, okay. okay. So, so, roll yeah. perception. Do I get a bonus for having? Uh, yeah, you healing? do. Right. Okay, so if you're going to look in the look for a heartbeat, you're probably going to see what's inside of that tub. What was that? I can't hear you with the sound of me shitting myself. <laughs> what are you shitting yourself over? <laughs> I don't know, so, that just sounds really ominous. Well, would okay. you? Would you? Just answer, okay. would you? I'm, I'm, I have to look inside the tub. Oh no, oh no, I'm... Alright, no, if, if, alright, so what you would, what, I'm going to tell you exactly what you, uh, what Tato would do. I would, I would check his pulse. And it's right, does a, a look list. Okay, how do you check it? His wrist. Okay. Okay. No, uh, the I would. Can I he's say how? He kind of has I, both I, his arms I, killed over in the on, tub. So let, let's head out. Say uh, what she's got. I kind of have an ass load of first aid experience. All right. So what you would do is uh, what would be done was you would put your ear up to their face where you can hear and feel them breathing. You would put your fingers in position where you can feel the jugular artery. Basically the entire top half of his body, he's just kind of keeled over in the tub. Arms, face, and the tub. Is he nude? No. No. He, he's wearing okay. everything he's but his gloves. Okay. Tub full of water. And hat. No. Well, there is a liquid in there. It's red though. Uh huh. Oh, I'm going to check for vital signs first, of course. Also, there's a bo there's a full floor. There's a box and a pretty heavy metal cutting tool in there. Do we have vital signs? Yes, but they're kind of weak, actually. Not good. I'm going. I'm going to. I guess I might have to make a strength check. But uh, Annette, help me get him out of the tub. Yeah. Yeah. Annette doesn't say anything. She just helps. And then I would get his on his right up. side. <laughs> what? Who's on his right side? Uh, I guess I would be. Okay. I was hoping it was Teddo. <laughs> we'll switch. Oh on his left side. Okay. Okay. So I'll get his left leg. Teddo, when you middle. start to pull him out, Axel will get his middle leg. You notice two things: one, where the source of this le red liquid has been coming from. And that's he is missing his right ring finger, and it is very badly bandaged up. Like, it's a terrible job. It might as well not be. Hey, I have a healing proficiency. <laughs> yes, I know, but you were in shock. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> True. All right. Moving on. Moving on. I I would note that I would note that wound, and I would check for other wounds. No other wounds. No other wounds. Okay, that means I don't have to strip him good. That's a finger, pussy. <laughs> Alright. No, no. You would have to lose your finger. Make a check. Make a yeah, wisdom check. For who? Both of you. Okay. You observe it enough. It's a d20, by the way. Oh, we both got 18. Both in any case, from that yeah. point... Actually, Annette, you would notice because you have a praising. Yeah. It's the same finger that has had that very, very beautiful diamond that 
But Wait. Nero always wears the rag. That's not, not even... No, he would not know about that. Nero always kept his gloves, hands gloved. Yeah. Oh, he kept it gloved? Well, yeah, there he... would at least be a bulk in it. Yeah. No, he would but not wear a glove that would show it off. Notice. He would have worn thicker gloves and was still visible. Oh, okay. Never mind. Moving on to more important things. Um, I would like to point out that cutting off a finger, while it is serious, it would not... If you if you stopped the bleeding within a reasonable amount of time, which isn't difficult, if he has healing, he would be able to do that, no issue. Uh, you would not bleed out to the point where you had to have weak vitals and you'd be unconscious. Yeah. If he, there were conditions. There about the most harm you can get it's from cutting off your fingers, maybe get, it, the, get the wound infected. You no. don't understand all the conditions, and you won't, because yes. Nero doesn't remember them. Yes, there was more <laughs> conditions. And yeah. Well, in that case, I will still make sure the bleeding is... Uh, I will remove the bandage. Okay. Tell Annette to go to the uh, go to our room and grab a, for, uh, grab a healing kit. Right away. Annette goes to do that. <laughs> I'm going to keep a hold. I'm going to make keep uh, ke- check again to make sure his vitals are stable. Okay. What Annette would notice though with that appraisal check is that gorgeous box in the top. Yeah, probably. <laughs> That's not of the concern. It's really gorgeous though. <laughs> it's yeah. really good. Though. <laughs> we know he mentioned talked about a box, so we'll probably make sure to get that last if worst comes to worst. Okay. Not even his expression, worse comes to worse. What is that? Hmm. Okay. Okay. So, I'm guessing you guys are going through the process of getting him patched up. Roll me, uh, healing proficiency. Mm, both of us are just Teto. Just whoever's doing it. Alright, and that's a 20. Well, I have healing proficiency as well, and I have suing, so... 20 against my was- wisdom, correct? Yep. That, I believe, yep, that passes then. Yeah, you get it per- done perfect. Now then. Now your character will officially notice that uh, his finger is gone when he wakes up. Okay. Just let me know how long that would take. Uh, you'll be up in a few hours. Okay. Alright. Now then, with that out of the way, I guess I'll see what that box is. Okay. I don't seem to recall him ever having one before. You uh, go to the bathtub and you look down at the box. You know, it's a little bloody, but at the same time, its color shines through. Actually, you're kind of fading in and out. Oh, it's a little bloody, but at the same time, its color seems to shine through. Hmm. All right. Take that. Wipe it off, I guess, and um, well, all the blood it... comes off pretty well. Okay, um, I guess I'll look what's inside. It doesn't open. Huh. Ah, okay. I guess I'll just put that uh, on the bedside near 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 Nero then. Okay. Okay. So, now what? Now I guess we'll just wait for Nero to come to. Okay. Okay. Nero comes to. Alright, I'm going to tend him as I would any uh, victim, casualty, uh, whatever term you want to use. I'm going to call him casualty. uh, As I would tend any casualty. Uh, Is Nero going to try and get up? Uh, When he wakes up, he's going to like, ah. And it's kind of bad at his hand. Oh, you're like, hey, um... God damn it. What? My hand hurts. Yes, don't, don't, don't. He, he, he grabs it, it with his other hand. And then he notices something no, weird. Stop! And... <laughs> what? 
Relax. You need to relax. You lost a lot of blood. What? Your finger cut off somehow. Uh, Do you remember anything that happened to you? You remember half a conversation. Wait, what conversation do, you do I remember? I, the one I that we had? I, yeah, I just, I just remember having it, not anything about it, right? Yeah, you just remember having it. Uh... Uh... Where... What's... My head hurts. A lot. And Very Nero finally get a look at it. And starts trying to wiggle his, his ring finger. Relax, relax, relax. Oh, okay. What, what, what happened exactly? He kind of I don't, stares. I don't know. You lost your bathtub. You lost your finger, okay? Uh, and, and I'm taking care of you now. I think I remember coming in here. I can't remember why. I was talking to someone, something important, something very, very important. What I, is this about a box? Does it have anything? What box? To do? What box? Annette points to the box that you have uh, in the knife stand. That was found in the tub with you, and you wrote a letter to us mentioning it. Uh, I feel there was something important. I can't remember what it was, though. This head really fucking hurts. Shh. Shh. It's okay. Her tattoo kind of gets yeah. close, like pats him and comforts him. It's okay. It's okay. I know it hurts. I know it hurts. You just need to relax. Okay? Breathe. Take it easy. Okay? It's going to okay. be okay. I promise. Okay. Uh... Nero kind of stares at his actually, finger. Actually, you're the, first per you're the first GM who has ever put me in a situation where my first aid instincts kick in. <laughs> yep. Can you not tell that this is something that I've done? Yeah. Okay. Nero will start gripping his hand kind of tightly and try getting up and looking I, around. I push him down a little. No, 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 no. If you stand up right now, there's a good chance you'll fall over and you could hit your head on something. You need to relax. Okay. Right? All right. Okay. Are you hungry? I'll go, I'll go get you some food. Drink. I don't really feel hungry. I just... I'll get him something to eat. Tato, you can stay and watch him. Alright. I'm really confused. I feel something's wrong. There is something wrong, but we need... We, you need to get better before we figure out what's going on, okay? Okay. What box? Uh, is the box still in the room? No, we're uh, uh, yeah. left. Whatever it did with it. I'm gonna go grab the box and put it on the bed next to uh, Nero. What is that? I don't know. Let's open it. I open it. You can't open it. And now I tried to open it. Nope. This box. What? Right here. Nero picks it up and looks at it. Uh, I think there was something you important. Remember? You you don't remember. The box specifically. No, you I don't think, yeah, tell I, about the box. I think there was something important. I don't remember though. He he just tosses it aside. Okay. Okay. That so, what's going? What's the big deal of some box? Something in it? I don't know. Okay. Well, why? Why is that in my room? Or something. Was that Axel? Huh? Was that Axel? You say something? No, nothing okay. at all. Okay. So what's what's so important? Why is it in my room anyway? What's what's the box? What's in the box? I don't know. Okay. God damn it! My head hurts. Just relax. He, uh, he going through the list. Going through a list of thoughts in my head, uh, were there any sort of pain kill, uh, pain killing pulches or nope. uh, potions in the? All right, and uh, uh, give me a second. Uh, Google Akasu. I'm gonna go Google 
uh, herbs that uh, have uh, painkilling properties. They're sweet. <laughs> I'm talking herbs that you you apply to apply uh, top. I'm pretty sure swallow. we. Ha- I'm pretty sure we have hemp rope. <laughs> yeah, we both have hemp rope. So, that uh, is that is not how it works. Notice. And a lot of people have died oh, from seal, trying to smoke rope. Seal, seal, yeah. yes. seal. Something that you noticed while uh, examining his right finger after you got that uh, s- set up is that he has very severe rope marks on his right arm. Oh yeah. Like why did that not hit my brain at all? Balsam, bay, aloe vera. Why why did I not think of any of these? Yeah. You can tell I'm I'm a little out of it. Okay. Yeah. Getting tired. But not even that so much. I just because I haven't been in a woods at all since before my accident. I haven't had an opportunity to keep myself up to date on these things, like keep these things in my mind. Mm. So, Nero, we're like. Uh, I think my finger's gone. Haven't we already said that? He kind of just stares at it. I understand, and 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 over time, there's going to be times where you feel like you still have a finger, and it's going to hurt. Okay? You're just going to have to... This is going to be something you're going to have to live with. I'm sorry. Okay. Annette comes back in the room with soup for Nero. I'm not hungry. Thank you, though. I take the soup... Not about being hungry. It's it's good for you. I take the soup. Look, you need to eat. It'll help you heal. I... I... I food from... Wait, what? I (laughs) feed him. You kind of spoke with your hand in your mouth there. <laughs> I feed him. Yeah. <laughs> I feed him. Okay. Now this is... A, I that, thought Teddo wouldn't make a good mother. And that is the first thing that would ever... that... that Tito has done in a while to shock him since the little peck. So, he's gonna be like, what? what? Is that... <laughs> gave who a peck? Augie's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> like, were you touching my ship? <laughs> <laughs> Are you touching is... my ship E? Did you, do you, do you not, do you, do you not, he, Cheddar was swallowing all of her pride to do this. At this point, healing her teammate comes before her own needs. Yeah. <laughs> wants, not well. needs, wants. It, it, one hurt trying that he'll go red and it's like oh, oh okay I get the point just I'll, I'll do it I'll, I'll, I'll eat <sighs> Tedo turns uh, turns away for a moment with a massive look of relief on her face <laughs> and he eats he eats like a person that feels bloated would eat so not very happily or a small stomach, or somebody who's eating, you know, who is on a puree diet, or mm-hmm. I can give you all kinds of. Yeah, I know exactly how you're eating. I ate like that for like a month and a half. Okay, so he does that, and it's like, uh, okay, I, I I don't know what the, the box is though. Where where whose is it? Apparently, it belongs to the master or something. Uh, I. Go to my backpack and grab the letter, mm-hmm. and give it to him. It's to say, actually, if you find this letter, please forward it to a pink-haired girl named Teddo. Remind me to bring a box before anything else. If, that's weird. I didn't write that. Did I write that? Yeah, hold on. It's in Act your hand. I'm DMing you something. Okay. Well, it's it's probably the bosses. Another of the bosses' games. Ted, you want to handle that for me? I I don't want to de- deal with him. Um, what are you going to do with yourself? But what do you mean? Are you going to go back, or are you going, or are are you going to go with us to the house of lost? Ma- oh, what's 
What are you gonna do? Wait. Why did? Wait. What? Why? Why did they? Why are we going to the lost ma the house of lost magic? Or no, house of magic. one true magic. One true magic. Why are we going there? Uh, you I, remember uh, wanting yeah, to go there? I remember wanting to go there, but I don't remember why. It was because it was something that we could we could do to get away from away from the master. That's that's uh, why we left. Oh, because that's... there was there was something to be gained. There was a legend, and we wanted away. Well, you particularly wanted away from the man uh, from the manor, and I thought that we should do it because we're a team, and it was something we could do. The master would allow us, and it would like get us away from him. Particularly I was, you. I was going to leave. Why did I agree? Wait, no. Nero kind of mumbles off to himself. You said you weren't going to leave. I told you that you should follow your heart and do what you feel is best, and you said you wouldn't leave. I, I don't know. My, my, my head is really mumbled right now. Oh, I, 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 I understand. I understand. I don't remember any. I, 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 I remember things, but I seem to be missing my... I can't remember my reasonings. There are good chunks oh. of pieces missing uh, from, actually. I, I look at Annette. Could you take care of him a bit while I go get some tea? Yeah. Potato. Hmm? You handle the box. I, yes. I don't. I don't. Want, I, I don't care about that. I about what? What was this town's name again? Did we ever get? No, we didn't get a name for the town. I think we did, but we forgot it because it was something made up that was supposed to be like a dwarven word or something. <laughs> it, it wasn't made up. This is a well-established town in this world. It has been through four campaigns. Screw you. Okay. <laughs> it's uh, Arkul in Estella. The protector of peace. And that's where we're heading to, not the town we're in. The town that you're in... Is Bullshitium. Called... What? Bullshitium. Nah, it's... it's a joke about GMs. Every campaign is powered by bullshitium. Yeah. Uh. Hmm. That'd be ironic. To name it bullshitium? No. <laughs> okay. N Nero. It's called Vi. Vi? That's what this town's called. In any Bye. case, where were we going with this? Okay. Bye, bye, bye. Eddie, looking after Teto, uh, Nero, sitting on the bedside. I wish I could give facial feature hints. I. I. Okay. You know what, guys? Mm -hmm. Teto, I appreciate what you're doing right now. I can't really remember anything. Teto left. Oh, Teto. Yeah, Teto's, no, Teto okay. went to get... Is this before she goes to get the... Uh... Yeah. yeah. Tea? Yes. Yeah. He, he's gonna stop her. It's like... I, I don't need anything else. You guys can continue on. Well, I'm, uh, uh, this is before I leave, correct? Yeah. Yes. He will grab you if, if I'm not to. going. I'm not going anywhere until you get you get better. No. I've taken you on as my patient, and I I damn well not going to leave you. I I feel like I'll be fine. I think that's for her to decide. I think. I don't know why I agreed to even come to to this this. I remember this was a nice city, though. I think I'm just gonna stay here. Don't tell the leader. Could you do that? Tell the leader what? I'm what leader? Stay. The big Teto's boss giving, Teto's, guy. Teto's Teto's doing that 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 you know when you tell your friend. Uh, Are we going to that have to didn't happen. Another character already. What? What? 
I didn't want to do anything. Oh, never mind. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Uh, no. Um. Teto's doing that. You know when you tell your friend you didn't see that, and they go, "Didn't see what?" <laughs> Teto's doing that. I don't yeah. know. I I'm not. I uh, I like. I think this is a nice town. I think I'll you stay, here. stay here. Yeah. Maybe you guys find a nice girl. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you guys can finish the mission. I, I'll, I'll see you on the way back. You get better, okay? Mm -hmm. You stay here. You get better. You should be just fine in a couple of days. You're going to need to change the bandages on that hand every day. I'll, I'll be fine. Okay. Oh. Teto. Mm -hmm. he, he tries to reach into his right pocket, then winces. And it's like, oh. Uh, he tries to like, kind of maneuver his left hand into his right pocket. It's kind of awkward. That's always the worst, yep. <laughs> <laughs> he ruffles around yeah, a we'll bit. we'll get it for him. What are you trying to get? No, I got it, I got it. He, he grabs his pair of dice, which is in, in a little cup container thing, and hands it to Tedo. It's like, here, hang onto that for me, will you? First off, that warmed my heart as the player, and there will be a tear from a, a tear falls from Teto's eye. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. I know how much this means to you. I, yes. I I I expect to get it back next time you're in town. Okay. So that's that's my <laughs> promise. We'll meet again. I'll, I'll be. I'm not going to skip out. All right. All right. Well, are you going to settle down here? Yeah, I'll I'll stay here until you guys get back. All right. That could be a while. That's that's fine. I go into my room, uh, into our room, grab uh, the backpack, look at Annette. Annette, are you ready to go? If you are. All right. Oh, God. Go get your bag. It's got her stuff already. All right. Um. Before she she um she they leave, Nero will like kind of wait out the side of the hall and is like and. Calls and it over. Wait, whoa, 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 no, whoa, no, whoa, no. I look to Annette. Uh, you go ahead, and make sure everything's clear with with the uh, innkeeper. I have something to say to to uh, Nero real quick. Okay. Annette says, and she goes down with the innkeeper. Clears things up with him. Well, do 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 do. Teto, blushing furiously, walks up. Uh, walks up to Nero. Yeah. You gave me your dice. You're alive, which, by your vital signs, you sh shouldn't have been. But uh, you pulled honestly, through amazingly. I honestly well, feel surprisingly well, fine. I, I put a finger over his mouth. Shh. What? Blushing furiously, I kiss his cheek and walk out. I uh, saw that coming. <laughs> so I was expecting it to be a forehead kiss. Okay, that would. Again, put the surprised look back on his face. Yep. And before they actually leave, he'll leave. He'll call over Annette. Annette goes to him. Do you need something? No, I I have something for you guys. Uh, Annette, I kind of don't really know you, honestly. No. Annette. I'm sorry. I I'm gonna call you Annette though, not Koshiko this time. Okay. I appreciate that. Here, take this. He hands her a pouch. He, he unstraps a pouch from his belt and hands it to her. And inside it is 20 platinum. Jesus. Matt, where did you get these? Here, just split that with Teddo. Alright? Uh, no, I would, but mm, you were keeping these the whole time? Yeah. Oh. I'm sorry we couldn't have gotten to know each other better. Yeah. Yeah. The boss handpicked me to do some of his more important missions, so I never really got time to spend time with others at the mansion. Yeah. Never really got to... I don't really... Okay. He sighs, pets Annette on the shoulder, 
and actually grabs her and gives her a hug. And then he hugs her back. Aww. And then she gives him. She give her a handshake. That seems like in her character. But maybe she should give him a kiss too. <laughs> After giving the hug, he he simply turns. Around, he says, "I'll see ya," and turns around and heads back in to his, towards his room. Right. And yells out, "I got a lot of cleaning to do." Apparently. <laughs> All right. Bye, Nero. He actually seems strangely fine for someone that. Didn't I just say that? I can I barely hear you. Yeah. Barely heard you that. You sound like you're across the goddamn room. I'm sorry. I can uh, turn my shit back up. How about this? That's fine. Okay. So, he seems strangely fine for someone that, you know, wasn't a couple like, hours ago. Yeah. Okay. It, 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 strangely okay for someone who was bleeding halfway to death two minutes ago. Didn't I say that? I don't Didn't remember. Didn't I point that out in-game? I don't recall that. I don't. Did it get overshadowed by the kiss? Yeah, probably. Faggots. Sorry. Alright, well then, I would, I think that, that us leaving the inn and embarking on the next step of our journey would be a great point to stop. Yes, it would, I was about to say that. GG, Take guys. It GG. GG, no real. Oh, GG, right. it was fun. Yes, and I'll stop the recording now if you guys want to say bye. Do you, anyone want to say bye? Bye, everybody. John. Axel, your turn. Later. Okay. <laughs>